Real women murders, not fiction. Love women, don't kill them. Giving real women, unknown women, recognition to the world. Please support our channel and please, please subscribe. But her friends say Tabitha Tozzi's beauty caught the eye of the wrong man. Her boyfriend, Oswaldo Perez Sanchez, is now accused of killing her. Metro officially named him as their suspect today. Kim Passoff is live tonight at Metro headquarters now with the latest. Kim? It has been 10 days since the shooting. Tabitha Tozzi did not die right away. She was kept on life support so she could become an organ donor. Tonight, her friends and family gather to say their final goodbyes as Metro continues to hunt for her killer. Like she always said she was going to be bigger than life, you know. I just didn't think it was going to be this big, this bright. Friends and family come together at the trails in Summerlin, a park near where Tabitha Tozzi lived. <laughs> writing poems on blue and white balloons, Tabby's favorite colors. She was an aspiring poet who always had a way with words and touching people's hearts. The one that she even talked to for 10 minutes, like they knew that she made them smile, like from the inside out, always empowered them. Alicia Lazoya says Tabitha was her best friend since they met in math class at Cimarron High School. I had, a, I had got pregnant young at 17 and um, she, told me that we were going to raise her together and she's my daughter's god mom. The morning she was shot at a home near Cimarron and Alta Drive, Tabitha called Alicia and her mom saying she was trying to get away from her boyfriend of five months. He had taken her keys, but by the time both women got to her, it was too late. It was more of maybe an obsession because of how beautiful and how much of a light he, she was. He didn't want to share it with the world. So he had gotten her face tattooed before he met her. Um, on his arm. On Friday, Tabitha's last act in the world was giving the gift of life. She will live on in the 60 people helped by her decision to be an organ donor. And though physically gone, those who love her say she will also remain with them. She's actually been sending us signs like everyone feels them. Everyone feels her presence stronger than ever. I feel like she stepped into a higher power. And Perez Sanchez allegedly stole Tabitha's friend's car after he shot her. That car was recovered here in town last night at a tow yard. Metro says if you do see him, you should immediately call police. You can call LVMPD's homicide section or you can call Crime Stoppers and remain anonymous. Reporting live tonight, Kim Passoff, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. And Tozy was the main provider for her family, paying for all their expenses, as well as her grandmother's dementia care in Brazil. A fundraising account has been set up to help them. You can find a link under this story on our website, foxhivegas.com.
Thanks for watching. We appreciate you. Please, please subscribe.